All right, today's the day. We turn these bell peppers into something amazing. Look at all those bell peppers. There's definitely the year of the bell pepper. We're gonna roast some peppers. Fire roasted peppers on the grill and put them in olive oil. So, it should be good. All right, so I'm preparing the bell peppers to be charred on the grill. And ones like this that are nice and flat on the bottom, I'm saving for stuffed bell peppers. So, I've got a few of those. And then, that's a pretty quick well. Okay, and then the others, I was cutting them to be charred, and then at first I cut them in half. Cut them all in half, and I grabbed the seeds out and put them away. But then I discovered that that's a lot of trouble. My hands are wet, and I was my hands are getting sore. So I started cutting them like this. Just that one. That side. Last side. So then you just have the core, mm -hmm. and you can just that the chickens are gonna love those. And then you just got your four pieces to put on the grill. So then when I started doing that, it's a, it was going a lot faster and a lot easier on my hands. So that's what we're doing. Next step is the grill. I'm going to show you I've got the bell peppers on the grill getting a good black and roasting and then we'll peel the skins off and can them in olive oil. Profit is helping me smash some oh, garlic drop, today. You drop one. Uh oh. We don't have the two-second rule at our house. We have too many animals. He's helping me peel little garlic pieces. Our roasted bell pepper recipe. Thank you. You're the best. How do you do it? I just slam it and take the paper off. Okay. You just kind of crush it. Whoa. And then that makes it easy to take the paper off. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're a pro. You are a pro. Thanks for helping. All right, so I got my jars there ready to go, and I got my roasted bell peppers. Done. Just, uh, that's it. Okay. Did all of them. Yeah. I think we're ready to can them up. All right, let's do this. Okay, just let me say a note about peeling the skin off roasted bell peppers. Not fun thing to do. It takes a long time, and I don't have a long time. I would say it's good for somebody who maybe has compulsive obsessive disorder, like for peeling things, but I do not have that, and some of my animals do. I'm just gonna say that right now, but that is not, I have many things going on with me, but that is not one of them. So I did not enjoy peeling the roasted bell peppers. And so let me just give you a shot of what we're going through here. I roasted these, so let me just show you. Okay, this is, I guess, not roasted enough because it just doesn't peel very easily. All right, so there's that. Okay, now this one's roasted more. These are cold because by the time I roasted these, and uh, oh, I was ready really for bed. Cold. Yeah, I was ready for bed. It was getting late and I was tired and getting a little bit cranky about peeling Can roasted I peel bell this peppers. One? Maybe if you have like can a- Can I peel this one? You can try. You're doing a better job than I am. Maybe if you had like a friend, like a peeling roasted bell pepper party with maybe some good beverages involved. Okay, I can see that. I am so excited that I had a great bell pepper harvest, but um, yeah, not so much, I'm not so excited about this part of it. It's just really frustrating and time consuming. Slimy and too. It's, sli <laughs> it's slimy too. Very good. Yes, I couldn't help but notice that myself. So, and what I did was I roasted them yeah. and then I put them in a bowl with like saran wrap over it to steam them. And somebody had a paper bag on there. I didn't happen to have. <laughs> 
paper bag. Sometimes they just fall apart. All right, so. Um, and I think the ones that were roasted. I don't roast, think this is roasted enough. Yeah, some of them aren't roasted enough, then they're really hard. And some are roasted too much. It just kind of dried orange, into an old flat I think the thing. orange ones are better to peel. You know, I don't have this kind of time. <laughs> like, ever in my life. That, well, okay, maybe someday. Okay, so this was my idea for Christmas gifts. So I've got my um, jars all ready. I washed them in the dishwasher along with my rings and my lids. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you're just gonna put a couple bell peppers in there. You wanna help me? Mix it up with some red ones. Yep. Oh, that, and now some garlic. Put in a couple garlic. Oh. Woo! Okay, that's a lot. Um, uh... No, 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 that's enough, <laughs> that's enough. Now put in some more peppers. Now, if, um, I had planned to give these for Christmas, but they were very time consuming to make. If you get this for Christmas, you're gonna know that I love you because this took so much time peeling the peppers. Oh, it lasts for three months refrigerated. So if you let it waste in your fridge, and you don't use it, we're gonna have words. Okay, okay garlic. All right. I'll close the garlic there. One more. Good. Oh, let's do a red one. A red one. Oh, I got one. I got a red one. It's okay. Big red one. So I'm gonna leave a little room on top, and then for the olive oil. And just pour the olive oil in. I'm gonna get a spoon and kind of make sure the all the bubbles are worked out. Why can't you use the top of the spoon? Well, I might. All right, Prophet, you got it. Can you feel better? I put a couple pieces of garlic on top. Good idea. One or two. So when they open it up, they see all that beautiful garlic. Right? I didn't roast the garlic. Oh, I should have roasted the garlic. Oh, well, too late. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Too much garlic, too much garlic. Just one or two cloves. Okay, lid on. There we go. I'm gonna label it with the date on top. So if you have a year of the bell pepper like we did, this is one thing you can do with them for Christmas. Jar them up for roasted bell peppers. I took some of my bell peppers that I did um, with the garlic and I put them on some good bread and I melted some Munster cheese on them and oh my gosh, I'm going to say right now, all that peeling was so worth it. These are really good. They're super good. Hi everybody from Bloom Where You're Planted. Merry Christmas. We wanted to show some special Christmas traditions that we have. And one is getting to sleep on the couch and have the Christmas tree blinking in the nighttime. Um, I used to fall asleep that way with the Christmas tree blinking and um, I was just magical to me as a kid. So we take turns doing that. And then there's one really special um, tradition we do in our family, which I just I just love, and I wanted to share it with you so you could do it in your family, start in your family if you wanted to, and that is Christmas mail. So we just put, I guess somebody gave us a little mailbox, and it had like candies in it <laughs> at one point, but then we got the idea to just nestle it in our tree, and we send each other mail. I think I got this idea from me and my sisters, 
we used to have bunk beds when we were little and we would have little mailboxes on each bunk bed and we would leave each other little notes and I still have a precious little note that my sister gave me when we were little and um, anyway so this is where I think we got this idea so we leave each other little notes so let's see if we can find one. yeah so I'm the Christmas mail it's already been read it's been flipped there okay here's one Here's a good one. Eli, you wrote this to the whole family. You want to share it? Mm -hmm. Show it to them. So, Tell what it's about. This is Hunter. This is Mom. This is Sarah. Johnny. Camden. Nala. Their new dog. This new football. Yeah. Dad. Mm -hmm. And me. Yeah, let's read what you said. God created this beautiful family, was named, and it says all of our names in this beautiful family. That is so sweet. Sarah, why don't you get a Christmas mail out and read it? Okay. And then I got one from Jasmine. <laughs> Who's Jasmine? Uh, John's girlfriend. Okay. Wow, really cool she's drawing. quite the artist. Man, what does it say? It says, Merry Christmas, Sarah. <laughs> Good drawing. Oh, Eli, this one's for you, too. <laughs> okay, read it to him. Let's see. Here's it from. Oh, it's, yeah, it's from the fisherman. Dear Eli, thanks for being my little buddy. You are super awesome. Thanks for playing Legos with me and for helping me fight the zombies. You are the best little brother ever. Thanks for being a really cool dude. P.S. I love you all the way to the moon and back. Your good buddy, Hunter. <laughs> I love you, Eli. Thank you for playing Wahoo with me. Thank you for snuggling me up when I'm cold. I love it when you go to the store with me. You are the best from mom. <laughs> Thank you. So it just says back. Yes, that's for you. So sometimes I keep my Christmas mail um, all year round. And when I'm having trouble, you know, with a, a difficult moment with a child, I can get out my Christmas mail and I can read them. I'm the best mom ever and I am loved and some special things about myself that, that they love about me. And it really helps. Um, so that is... Our Christmas tradition, we've been doing it for a few years, and it's really fun, and I hope maybe you'll make it your Christmas tradition. It's brought a lot of love to our family, because we get so beaten down by the world, and oftentimes we don't um, express that those special things we like about each other. It's so it's so nice happy. to have it. Um, Hunter from John. Oh, okay, good. It's nice to have it, and um, those special thoughts, and especially nice to have them in writing. So you can just keep them close to your heart. <laughs> and maybe, maybe one of the kids or even me will find it someday, years later, when they left the nest. And that'll be special, just like I found my sister's note from childhood. So, have Merry but Christmas. Heart is here. Say it with me. Oh, you're going to keep it in your heart. Okay. <laughs> Literally. Happy Merry Christmas! Alright, you guys. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Uh, I'm signing off here at Bloom For Your Planet. I'm going to take off some time, about a week or so, and enjoy the Christmas holidays with family and friends. So, um, you guys have a wonderful holiday and be blessed. Merry Christmas from Bloom For Your Planet. show hours and hours of this. That would be really entertaining. <laughs> okay, where are they? <laughs> I got my jars all ready. Ugh, 
Six pack, six pack, pack eggs, and then this is Sarah. <laughs> this is a very good video, y'all. 